Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Now, for all the people who've been making excuses for Dickless Cannon, all the mush mouths. Who have said, oh, he can have all the kids he wants because he has money. He's rich. Kids don't need anything besides shelter and food. Well, looks like Mariah Carey is feeling a way about him and all these kids that he keeps out here, you know, that he's having constantly. Um, Radar Online is reporting this, that Mariah Carey is tired of Nick Cannon's antics. The fact that he's just, you know, just having all these children and now her children are being neglected. Remember all the mush mouths swarping down, you know, good old dickless cannon might have a big dick, but that don't mean anything. Okay. That's just something sexual just because, you know, you big dick Nick. Um, you have to be able to do more than just spread your seed freely around the universe, sir. Okay. You need to spend time with your children. <laughs> Big Nick Nick. <laughs> and as a loyal lamb, y'all know, honey, I'm Team Mariah. Okay. As a loyal lamb, I'm very disappointed that Queen Mariah is even, you know, attached to this fuckery. Okay. This fuckery will not destroy Mariah's legacy in Jesus' name. Okay. So now. <laughs> So Mariah's out here. She says she wants Nick Cannon, <coughs> excuse me, to carve out more time for their twins as the Wallen out host keeps daddy duties with baby number 11. Okay. So let's see him. Right. Carrie knows her ex Nick Cannon has his hand full with baby number 11, but she wants the hardworking mass singer host to carve out more time to spend with their twins. Insiders claim that Mariah Carey has asked Nick Cannon to make sure that Moroccan and Monroe are still getting to see their dad as much as possible. Nick thinks it's crazy, it's crazy, wonderful thing having all these kids, said a source, claiming Nick Cannon is prepared to keep up with his busy schedule due to the needs of his growing family. According to the insider, he is not, he is not only working a lot, but also splitting his time between all of his kids. Okay. Um, look at this. I don't even know who this right. This is the first comment. Well, whose fault really is that, Mariah? So wait, Mr. Red Bear, you're mad at Mariah? You see how they do this? You see how they twist stuff? So now Queen Mariah is at fault for Dickless Cannon's antic antics. Do you realize that Mariah didn't just get here? These twins are not new. Mariah's twins are damn near teenagers. Those kids were there first. Like, what are you, <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is he mad at Mariah? She was the first baby mother and not a baby mother. She was a wife. That was their first set of kids together. How is she at fault? Maybe he has Mariah mixed up with one of the other people, child. Cause you know, he got like four sets of twins, honey. Some shit like, you got a bunch of twins. He got a few twins, you know, by I think like two. Maybe he's talking about the other baby mama, but we're not gonna, we're not, don't know. We're not gonna slander Mariah. Mariah ain't got nothing to do with this foolishness. She was first. But again, I've been saying this from day one, that I don't care how much money Dickless Cannon has, okay? Money does not equate time. Cutting a check, or just, you know, sending child support or FaceTiming, that's not the same. And like I said, as these kids get older, it's going to be more and more complicated for him to share his time. He's already slipping and half his kids are under the age of three. <laughs> okay. He's already not able to be there with the older children and the older children, less work. They can change their own damn diaper. They can feed themselves. They can, you know, you can basically just send them out for a bit and get a break. 
It's the babies that need even more attention. So if he can't even, you know, carve out time for the older ones who are old enough to, you know what I'm saying, bathe and, 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 and feed themselves, there's no way he's carving out time for these little, little ones who actually need help, who actually need their diapers changed and bottle feedings and everything else. And I, I just, I don't know. It's just really disappointing because Nick Cannon... You know, especially growing up, like he was, he was dope. You know, people call him corny and all that stuff, but I've always liked Nick Cannon. He was a hustler. You know, he did his thing. He was always in these little movies and he was just like that nice guy. And just to see him like in this situation is just weird. I would have never thought growing up that Nick Cannon would have like a whole bunch of damn kids by different women. And, you know, Queen Mariah's out here talking about she's upset. that He's not seeing her twins. It's insane. But people excuse this. And they kept saying it's because he has money. Mariah has money and Nick has money. And that means what? That does not negate time. That does not negate being there. Especially if these kids are in activities like, you know, basketball, hockey, soccer, cheerleading. Kids want to look up and see their parents are in the stand. They want to look up and see their mom and dad cheering them on, you know? And he, he, he can't do that. There's no way he can physically be in that many households at one time. And I, I think it's sad. And again, I've never put all the blame on Nick. I also put the blame on the women who are sitting here. You know, they're, they're not thinking beyond their own financial situations. They're trying to be attached to some type of fame that he has. But they're not thinking of how this is going to affect the kids, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine years from now with them not having him in the household. So I just think the whole situation is- If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the Lovely TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.